The Big O knew that he had to show the way. And did to start the Bucks rolling in game one. The Bullets' chances were dim when all pro forward Gus Johnson's ailing knees did not respond. He wasn't able to play, so the burden of performance fell on Burley West Unseld and the fabulous Earl Monroe. Sindor got in first quarter foul trouble and sat down. But Dandridge fills the void nicely. After playing only nine minutes in the first half, King Lee came back to score 18 points in the third and finished with 31 points as the Bucks won it 98 to 88. Coach Costello's pep talks couldn't have said it any better. Baltimore turned out big to see if their bullets could come back. Lou and Oscar were tough as always and totaled 49 points, 30 rebounds, and 12 assists between them. The Bucks 102, Baltimore 83. Let's go home for game number three. A determined Baltimore bunch did everything they could in this one to get a win. game kept Gus Johnson away again, and the big Milwaukee trio of Dandridge, Lou, and Oscar dug the trench a little deeper. Oscar was everywhere. He finished this one with 20 points, and now, in three games, had 64 points, 29 assists. It seemed he was making a habit of humiliating Baltimore's guards. Particularly, Fred Carter. Lou ended with 23 points and 21 rebounds. And the Greyhound was high scorer with 29 points. The Bucks won it 107-99. And Baltimore, a high-powered offensive team, had yet to go over 100 points against Milwaukee's solid defense. Now the big question was, could the Bucks win it in four? and become the second team in league history to do so. Back to Baltimore to find out. Friday, April 30th, and a pessimistic cloud hung over Baltimore Civic Center. But they couldn't stop the big O as he continued to taunt Fred Carter. O had a day hitting 11 of 15 floor shots. Eight of nine free throws, had nine assists, and drained the hopes of this crowd. It was the big guy as he drilled for oil with a couple of these. And then more of Oscar's 30 points. He was absolutely everything you could possibly want on a basketball court. Averaging over nine assists, 23 points, and 52% from the floor against the Bullets in this series. The Bullets knew their chances for glory were over. Lou winds up and finds Dandridge, who had 21 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists. Woe is me. Al Sindor hit a series average of 27 points in this game. As the playoffs' most valuable player, the King showed why. Shooting over 61% and averaging more than 18 rebounds a game against the Bulls. Three off the rim, Teller gets it back, two, one, he hits it, it's over! Every member of this team had a part to play, and they did it to perfection. Few now doubt it how strong the new world champs really were. The Bucks rolled over Baltimore in four straight and became only the second team in NBA history to do so in the championship round.